Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash, double honors uh, to the elders and to the apostles of Great Millstone, and enough respect to the brothers out there pushing and spreading the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to the four corners of the world. Um, now, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, I have this article here, uh, which is entitled U.S. Forces Under Fire in Middle East as America slides towards brink. So I have this article, and uh, what I'm just gonna do is just go through a few precepts and uh, show you <laughs> how prophecies are being fulfilled, all right, before our very eyes. Um, so before we get into it, I'm gonna start off in uh, Jeremiah chapter 49, but I wanna get into uh, Edom, okay? Um, Right, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 49, starting from verse 20. So it says, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he has taken up against Edom. He saw Edom, okay, which is the so-called white man. All right, it says, and his and his purposes. So this is a counsel that the Mosai, this is the plan that the Mosai has against him, okay? So the plan is ultimately to destroy these people, okay, who rule the world, all right? So it says that he has purpose against the inhabitants of Taman. It says surely, and these are all Edomites, okay? This is another, uh, another tribe of Esau Edom. So it says, um, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So concerning Edom, okay, and their destruction, the least of them who are them, the Edomites, and the least of the Edomites are the Amalek, okay? Uh, uh, Amalek was um, the grandson of... Um, of Esau and of all the tribes of, of, of um, Esau, right? Um, they are, I guess, like the lesser tribe, all right? So it says the least of the flock shall draw them out. And um, those are the Amaleks, okay, which are the Jays over there, okay? So they are, they are, they are like the most pampered of all the, e of all the Edomite nations, okay? They are, um, <laughs> they are, they are coddled. Of all the Edomites on, on, on the face of planet Earth, they are the ones that receive grants. They are the ones that receive, um, you know, the reparations and all these things. I mean, everything that's done is always done to their benefit, okay? So it says the least of them. So that's what makes them um, the least of the flock. But it says that they shall draw them out. In other words, they are going to be the reason the destruction of Esau Edom um, comes to pass, manifest. They're going to be... Any, the things that happen to destroy um, this this man's rulership, okay, the, the beginning of that destruction will be because of what the Amaleks, the Jays, are doing over there in that land, okay? And you're gonna, we're going to read about that in, uh, in that article, but it says, keep, going, uh, keep, keep on, it says, um, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. It says, surely he shall make their inhabitants, uh, their habitations, desolate with them okay and so it says the earth is moved which uh, at the noise of their fall which goes into the icbms you know when uh when they are uh, at like the climactic point of the battle when things actually get heated you know when everybody loses their mind and stop caring they're gonna shoot the uh the, the missiles okay and the missile of course is, it's it's to the intent that they may destroy so but when it's destroyed why right, the scripture says that the earth is moved at the noise of their fall at the cry of the noise thereof was heard in the, in the Red Sea. And then it goes on, uh, it says, Behold, he shall come up and fly as, as the eagle, which is talking about Yahweh Shai, and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pants. So when they see Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai comes, okay, to do to do his, uh, <laughs> to wage war on Esau Edom, the scripture says that the heart of the mighty man, not just any man, like the, the, the mighty man, okay? All, all these men out there in the, in the militaries and all these things, they're going to be, their heart shall be of a woman in her pants, okay? They're going to be straight away shitting themselves. But let's get into it. So the point here is what? The least of the flock shall draw them out. Get back. So the article says, U.S. forces under fire in Middle East as America slides towards Frank, uh, Washington, 
No, it's like, let me hear. It says, a defective drone in Iraq may have helped um, keep America from being dragged deeper into a widening Middle East, Middle East conflict. And recently, if you've been paying attention, there's been a lot of attack on American bases, you know, by these, um, um, not, not really nation nations, but they are um, malicious and they are like a proxy army that these Islamic nations uses to indirectly fight against America, okay? So it says, so th this this has been going on for a long time, and um, this is just another case of these attacks. But like I said, the attack is in fact news, but is newsworthy. But the motivation behind these attacks is what I just wanted to focus on. So just 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 to remind you, uh, it says the drone which was launched at uh, uh, Erbil Air Base by an Iranian-backed militia before sunrise on October 26, penetrated U.S. air defenses and crashed into the second floor of the barracks housing, all right, of the barracks housing American troops at about 5 a.m., according to two U.S. officials familiar with the matter. And you know these U.S. bases, okay, they are heavy. So, like, yeah. so these um, U.S. bases, they are heavily fortified. And, and here you have these militias, Okay, they're able to penetrate it. They're able to <laughs> get past that. So, you know, whenever you talk about uh, uh, World War and, and, and your worries about nuclear missiles, whenever these uh, people bring it up uh, to the officials, you have these, you know, um, these political leaders, they'll come up and say, well, yeah, yeah, it, it is in fact grievous. You know, but America has, in fact, prepared for these things and yada, yada, yada. And we have the, the defense missile systems and all they run. Their, they like to run their fucking mouth. OK, you know, as though they, the future belongs to them, you know. But the scripture talks about how the, 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 the a man does not even know what tomorrow brings. Yet, yet he's um, yet he starts making plans. OK, only the most high has con complete control over the future. There are just too many variables that Esau Edom cannot control, but yet he speaks as though he has everything under control. All right. So, um, I mean, just to me, there's just a little kind of a little foreshadow when it, when scripture talks about how, um, in Joel, the second chapter, how they fall upon the sword and, um, but then, <laughs> but they still continue on their course, which is talking about the missiles. Um, so it says that when the missiles, uh, when the missiles are shot, they run like mighty men, okay? So, um, they climb the walls like men of war. Uh, they shall march everyone in his ways in their, their information, and they shall not break their ranks. So, you're not going to have like a missile, um, you know, kind of um, defect and fall into the ocean, or you're going to have a missile go off course and crash into another missile. You're not going to have that. Every missile that's meant from all the 200 million missiles that are meant for America will hit. Okay, and America's a big land, and it's no surprise that it's, you need 200 million missiles, okay? You probably don't need that much, but that's how much the most I hate Babylon, okay? To the point where it's straight up overkill, all right? So um, they run like mighty men, so they are very um, powerful, okay? They, they climb the walls like men of war, and when these missiles hit, they don't, they, they barge in, break buildings, okay? Like 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 back in the days when when men of war uh, rule into a city, they didn't they didn't leave one stone standing. Okay, they they raise everything. Um, you know they raise they raise everything when they were when they were really angry about a city. They 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 made that shit into waste. They turned it into waste. So it says, "I neither shall one thrust another." And I went into that. It says, "They shall walk everyone in his path." And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. So the sword. As something that got, comes against you, and so if this is talking about the missiles, what what is used against missiles, which is the missile defense systems? So you're gonna have these these Babylonians, okay? These try to they they they're always boasting about their 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 defense systems, just like uh, Amalek also does with their freaking Iron Dome. Well, that's what they refer to as, okay? But the scripture talks about how time is coming when the Mosai is gonna make it to it. All these defenses, they fail, okay? And they will accomplish. These missiles will definitely hit, 
Okay, and and just like we went into um in the book of Isaiah, it says the earth shall quake before them. So this is their destruction. But you know, let's not derail the whole topic. Let's continue. So it says, um, but the device uh, laden with explosives failed to detonate, and in the end, only one service member suffered a concussion from the impact. It says, since the officials uh, who asked to remain anonymous to speak freely about the attack, uh, oh, said the officials, it's like him. Um, it says the U.S. had got um, had got lucky. They added, as the drones could have caused carnage had it exploded. The incident was among at least 40 separate drone and rocket attacks that have been launched at U.S. forces by Iranian-backed militias in Iraq and Syria over the past three weeks in response to American support. What? In response to what? In response to American support for Israel in the Gaza war, according to Pentagon data and two U.S. officials. The least of the flux shall draw them out. They are going to be the reason... Right, these are the Amaleks, the least of the flock, the Jays. They are going to be the reason why World War Three pops off. People are going to get sick and tired of it. People will be, yo, don't even try to bring out no fucking peace treaties anymore. And that's what these nations are going to be. You know, so the scripture talks about it in, in Joel, the second chapter. It's, it's a time of, it's a battle of Armageddon. Okay, they're, they're going to be gathered into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And everybody that's brought up in there is brought in there to fight. That's what the scripture says, that they shall beat your plowshares into pruning hooks. Turn your farming equipment into weapons of war. Ain't nobody playing in these last days. And while it sounds like destruction and, 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 and chaos, it is necessary because this place has to be brought down. This current eon has to be reset. It has to be forgotten, destroyed. So that the righteous kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of the Israelites, may be established. <laughs> Alright, so with that, um, let me see if there's any more on this. It says, I think they're calibrating the attacks to harass um, rather than kill. Um... But there's a lot more they can do. It's unclear how President Biden would respond uh, to a major attack that kills a large number of Americans. Yo, I'm telling you, because they're going to, like right now, they suspect that they're only trying to harass Americans, okay? But what happens when these guys keep on continuing, okay? What happens when, let me highlight them real quick. I don't want to say the name. Um. What happens when these guys refuse to listen, um, you know, to 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 everybody that's telling them to ease up on killing uh, civilians? What happens when they don't stop? Eventually, you're going to have these Islamic nations fed up. And they're going to step up from harassment into full intentional to to, to to full murderous intentions. And when that happens, it says it's unclear how President Joe Biden will respond. Okay, to a major attack that kills a large number of Americans, it's unclear. And we all know there's a uh, presidential um, election very soon. And hey, who's to say that the Trump doesn't make it? And, and he actually comes up and go all out. But whatever it is, whatever happens, we know for sure. Okay, because we don't know the details, like the specific details as to what happens. But we know for certain that the Most High has to destroy this place. The, the, that the Most High will destroy this place, Lucky. Like, yeah. That the Most High will destroy this place. Okay, we are certain of that. All right. And so, um, and with that, let's just keep on continuing on in the spirit. It the the the, the events that are happening around us, it, it, yo, it only proves that we have the truth. Okay, it only proves that what we've been speaking about is is truthful. So let's keep keep the faith and um, await the return of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Not no Christ Jesus or something like that, but it's Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Christ uh, Jesus Christ, but that's not his name. And he's a so-called black man, okay? And he's going to come down in a UFO, and he's going to save, he's gonna save uh, the, uh, his, his, his elect, okay? He's going to save those that believe in him, all right? In truth and sincerity. So with that... 
I'm going to end right there. Shalom to all the few um, Akims and Akos to listen in truth and sincerity. Uh, may the blessing of blessing be upon our houses. And may the most High delivers us when he, um, you know, on, on <laughs> when he um, unleashes uh, indignation upon this place. All right. So with that, I'm going to end right there. Shalom.